Uh, so this, uh, this, I think this tension between excited and, and scared is nicely captured in the word singularity. So you probably all have heard the word singularity is a point in time we can't see beyond. And it was adopted by the AI community, Ray Kurzweil, to refer to the technological singularity, which is what, what Seth mentioned, which is the point in time where we build a brain a million times smarter than us. Actually, I think there are six singularities. So I think there are six singularities that we're going to face in the next 30 years. And uh, you might have come across the word pest, the pestle framework political, economic, social, technological, legal. So just very quickly, because we've already talked about three and a half of them. So the political singularity, I believe, is a, is a, is a world where we, where we no longer know what is true. Um, deep fakes, misinformation, bots are challenging our political foundations and, and they're, now, they're now challenging the fabric of our reality. And I actually think that between enterprise and government, we can, we can solve that problem. So either we create a world where no longer no, people know what is true, and we create, we create um, it erodes us the fabric of our, our social barriers, or we're able to authenticate all content. I think those, that's a singularity. The second one is the environmental singularity. I don't know where you stand on this, but we, AI is either going to increase consumption and we will lose control of our our environment, our, our ecosystem, or we're able to use AI to get control of our ecosystem. The third is the social singularity, which is the point in time where we cure death. So it's advancing medicine and um, the scientists believe there are people alive today that don't have to die. The fourth is the technological singularity, which is the point in time where we build a, a machine a million times smarter than us. And we don't know what will happen when we become the second most intelligent species on this planet. My advice to people is to look busy and be nice to each other. And, uh, and then hopefully it will bugger off to a different dimension. The legal singularity is a surveillance state. So we know that AI understands people deeply. It can also persuade people and manipulate people. And that's in a very powerful position to be in. My business is in, in the business of persuasion. I'm in the media marketing uh, communication business. And and, and I think we need to mitigate bad actors using these technologies to accumulate a massive amount of wealth and power. My favorite singularity, which is what you mentioned, is coined by a very good friend of mine called Callum Chase called economic singularity. And to, to give you the two extremes, the one extreme is that when we have the pressure to remove whole jobs, we probably will reduce costs and increase profits. If that happens very quickly, we will then create mass technological employment that will lead to social unrest. That, that is the one extreme. Uh, the other extreme, is that actually we should be accelerating as fast as possible towards this singularity. We should be removing the friction, which usually means human labor, by the way, to uh, reduce the cost of the creation and dissemination of food, healthcare, education, transport, energy. In, if we applied our smarts in the right way, I think we could create a world where all of that stuff is free.